Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from Warp Crew Paintball and Warp Sports Chicagoland, and I'm here to talk to you about masks. Masks are probably, no, masks are the most important piece of equipment that you will ever buy, that you will ever wear, that you will ever use on a paintball field. They're the thing that protects your eyes, and that is the most important thing that you have to play paintball. You know, if you are blind, you probably don't want to play anymore. And if you get blinded while playing paintball, you're going to be salty about it. Post shit on the internet saying the paintball is the worst. And you're not going to want to play anymore. So, masks. Uh, I have worn literally probably every type of mask. Um, the only mask that I don't really, I mean, I like them. But I, I don't know, to me they look weird. Or profilers. I, I just think they're weird. But... Grills are really nice. I don't own a pair as of right now because they don't fit my face. I have a very big face, and I know that. Um, events are probably super good for people like me. Uh, I tried the Vio Extends. I had nothing but problems with my lenses, so I didn't go back to Extends, but I did buy another pair of Vios. And this is that pair. It's the Vio Ascends, and honestly, after playing with the XL or playing with the XL uh, Vios, I was like, eh, or the Vio Extends, I was like, eh, I don't really like these. But after wearing these for about five minutes when we were at a game at Blast Camp, because um, Nathan, Nathan had them, I tried them on. I was like, these are amazing. I was like, these are absolutely phenomenal, and I still like them now. They have great field of vision. They have really good venting. I mean, if you get shot in the face, you're going to fucking taste paint. But, that's okay. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm really liking those. That is probably going to be my mask for this year. I still haven't decided yet. I'm still on the fence about it. Uh, the other mask that I have for backup is my E-Flexes. E-Flexes are kind of tried and true in paintball now. I mean, everybody loves the old school Pro Flexes. The problem is they're a pain in the dick to change lenses. And I go through lenses pretty quick because I play paintball a lot harder than other people. As weird as that sounds, I know there's tournament players that are out there. Every weekend they'll change their lens, maybe every couple months. But I play woods ball. You know, I run through trees. I, you know, smack into boats. You know, my face hits the ground a lot. Um, so, I need something that I can change lenses on pretty quickly. That's why I do like the E-Flexes. Um, they are super nice, super comfortable. You know, you can do that little flip-up thing that people do because it's stupid. Um, but it's, for some reason, you know, I, as much as I like the E-Flexes, I've kind of shied away from them. Just, because, I, I don't know, to me they don't. They don't fit me as, as well as, as they did when I used to wear them, because I used to wear them all the time. Um, one of the other masks, like you can see the push mask back there. I'm not going to try that on, because that's not mine. That's Christos. I wish I had one, but I just bought the Ascent, and she said I can't buy any more masks. Um, I have my i5 still. I still love the i5. I love the tightening mechanism. The only problem is mine are just falling apart, because again... I had these for most of 2017. Like I had them from, actually yeah, from New Year's 2017 until almost the end of, of the season and these just fell apart on me. Like, I mean, it's mostly my fault, you know, the, the ear thing not coming good and then the, there's a hole in them somewhere that I had to put a screw through to keep them on the, on the, on the ears, but um, and yet, I play paintball very hard. I, you know, my face hit literally everything on the field. So, it's, it is really hard to, to keep a mask for more than a season. I mean, we were at NXL Chicago, and I was like, oh, I should fucking go get my mask fixed. And then I just didn't. Um, because they still want you to pay for shit like that. Because even though a lot of the things are default, like the, the thing, uh, coming off the side, the Velcro coming off the side, that's, you know, that's a factory default where the glue didn't stick. Um, the uh, ear ripping and me having to put the screw back into it, that's, you know, that's a factory default, I, I feel like, because I was wearing them 
how you normally wear them. I took them off, how you normally take them off, and the screw just ripped through the padding. And I was like, well, that sucked. So, but I, I fixed it at the field. And then the other pair, or the other mask that I have is probably my favorite mask of all time. Um, right now it's just kind of a display piece because I don't have dual paint lenses or anything like that, but it is the V-Force Advantage. This was my, my first mask was a pair of I-4s and they hurt the shit out of my head. They, I literally had a headache every day after I played, um, like put me to my knees headache. That's how bad it was. But then I bought these, which were way cheaper and I probably should have gone with first the coverage on the front is absolutely amazing. You can still hear and talk pretty well. And they they come with a visor, which I'm a fan of. And even if you don't have the visor, the forehead protector is gigantic. And I have a gigantic forehead. So that's really good. But yeah, that is, you know, again, the most, the most important piece of equipment that you'll ever own is your paintball mask. Um... You know, there's a thousand different styles, especially with bios, Jesus, you can, you know, make whatever color combination that you want to, and their regular mask is pretty good. I feel like this one is a little bit longer for some reason, and it does cover my face a little bit better. You know, I mean, if I'm screaming at somebody, you can, you know, like, oh, you can still hit me in the chin, and that's going to blow dicks. But, you know, every mask has some some sort of shortcoming but um, I, I feel like this this video had to be remade again even though I think it's been made like a thousand times because people aren't getting it that the mask is the most important piece of equipment you'll ever own doesn't matter what mask you wear as long as it's not like a shitty Walmart mask um, like I want a pair of EVS's <clears throat> at an event and there was a guy playing all day with a JT Walmart mask that was like held together with duct tape, super glue, and sticks. And I was like, dude, you're gonna kill yourself or somebody else because you're not gonna be able to see or you're gonna run into a wall or some shit. So here, here are these EVSs. I do like EVSs. I feel like they're not as good as they should be for the price. Um, like I saw on Facebook the other day that people are breaking the lenses on the back, like the thing that holds them to the mask is just shattering for no reason. <laughs> and then your lens comes out. Like that to me is not safe. Empire, you need to go back to the drawing board on that one. But so far the rest of these masks are pretty solid. Again, GI masks like grills, profilers are awesome choices. The push mask is absolutely phenomenal. Krista loves it. And I would love to get one, but uh, I think this year I'm going to be rocking the Ascends for the most part. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.